Hello and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial eight and in this tutorial we'll talk about yield analysis. If you recall in tutorial seven, we talked about how to run Monte Carlo simulation and by Monte Carlo simulation, we are able to see the spread of our circuit response due to component tolerances. However, it was not clear how many of components will eventually meet the spec which we originally are designing the circuit for. In order to check that, the utility in ADS is called yield analysis. To set up an yield analysis, we can disable the Monte Carlo using this button. And from the same library palette, which is Optimistat and DOE, we can get the yield spec um, you know, component and we can get the yield controller. So in this case, I will start with the first spec and later we can add more and more spec, as many as you want. In order to set yield spec, we can define the same expression like we did for optimization. If you haven't seen the optimization lecture, please go ahead and see. So first thing I would like to check is for S21 and SP1 is the simulator name we are using. And now we can define the min and max spec. So first thing I would like to do is check for pass band performance. And in this case, it will be minimum minus one. TB is already assigned here. Then in terms of range variable, it's the X axis. So the keyword to be used is freak whenever you have a frequency on X axis. If you have time on X axis, you could use time. So in this case, I would like to set up my pass band, which is from 10 megahertz to 0.2 gigahertz. Again, all these settings I'm using from optimization tutorial video. This simple step completes my yield specification. In terms of yield controller, we can define number of iterations uh, which we want to run. Again, for this example, I'm just using 250 iteration, but in your actual circuit design, you might use much higher number than this. We can also define the save iterations to be yes. As per our component. So these are two simple steps. The third step we already did, and that is to define the statistical variability to our component. So if you recall in earlier lecture, we went to simulation variable setup and the statistics, we did define all of them, all of the components to have plus minus 5% tolerance and the distribution was Gaussian. So this step was already done. In case you are only following the yield analysis video, go ahead and make them enable in the statistics tab. Now we are all set to run our yield analysis. And once we run simulation, we get a response which is very similar to Monte Carlo. But on top of that, if I insert a table uh, under measurements, you will see we have a yield which defines the percentage of circuit passing our spec. We also get number of pass circuit and number of failed circuits. So let's plot all of them in a table. So here we can see the yield is 99.6%. That means almost every circuit we analyzed is passing for the required passband specification of our insertion loss. Now the same thing we could try, we could copy paste, we can just simply use control C and control V and we can place another spec. And in this case, let's say I would like to check for S11 in the passband. And for S11, we need to define max because we cannot tolerate lower than this return loss. So we would like to have better return loss than minus 15 dB and the frequency axis remains the same. Now, if you run this analysis again, notice almost 100% yield reduces to close to 27%. That means we have a lot of circuits which we are failing. And you can look at this you know, graph and see why, because a lot of the circuits on the higher band edge have much poor response than minus 15 dB due to component tolerances. Now, third step we could do is we can disable the yield spec and we can just copy paste uh, the you know, transmission uh, insertion loss spec. And let's say we want to set up a goal to check for the stop band return loss. And again, we would do that by setting up the rejection of minus 25 dB. And again, picking up from optimization, we will pick the frequency uh, range to be from 350 megahertz to 500 megahertz. So now we are checking only for the transmission response. And notice for transmission response, while we have a very good yield for passband, 
except for stop band, there's still quite a few number of variation and which are failing to meet the minus 25 dB spec. But if you go back to a circuit and relax this, um, you know, limit a little bit, let's say minus 20, and we run the analysis again, and now we have 100% components which are passing the desired criteria. So yield analysis provides a great insight into our circuit analysis or circuit performance on how circuits are going to behave in presence of component tolerances and how many of them will pass or fail a particular spec. And further down, we can use other techniques in ADS to plot sensitivity histograms to see which component is more sensitive and then we can take suitable actions to you know, fix it. Well, that's your five minutes in learning about how to run yield analysis in ADS. Have a great designing phase and thanks for watching the video.